안녕하세요 여러분. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sean. In this video, you're going to get the opportunity to test your English listening skills. As the video progresses, the level of English will become increasingly difficult. I recommend first watching this video without subtitles. See how much you can understand. After that, watch the video again with subtitles by clicking the CC button on YouTube. It's important to note, however, that this video is based off of an English speaking test. So even if you can understand everything being said in this video, it's still good to practice answering the questions and speaking along with the video. Also, if you're currently studying English, I highly recommend you join my channel membership. All right then, let me know in the comments down below how far you can get in the video without subtitles. Let's begin. Hey, Matt. How are you? Hey, Bob. I'm good, but I'm lonely these days. Ah, so you're still single? Yeah, I am. Really? But you're so handsome and cool. Thanks, but it's so difficult to meet women. What kind of women do you like? I want a girl who has a nice smile, who loves to exercise, and loves ice cream. I understand. Do you know Dinder? It's a popular dating app. You should make a Dinder profile. How do I make a Dinder profile? I'll help you. Give me your phone. Okay. Okay. What's your name? My name is Matt. How tall are you? I'm 250 centimeters. What's your job? I'm a teacher. Now, introduce yourself. I'm a simple and kind man that likes movies, traveling, and ice cream. I'm looking for my princess. Great. Now, let's take a picture. Ready? Done. Here you go. Now, let's wait one hour. Hey, let's check your Dinder profile now. Oh. There are two matches. Wow, that's great. Sarah, 200 centimeters tall. Job, police officer. Hobbies, killing bad people. I'm looking for my prince. I really like short guys. You're not short. Right. Let's look at the next one. Samantha, job, chef. Hobbies, eating food, especially brains. I want to find someone who likes to eat. I sometimes like eating people. She seems nice, but it might be hard to kiss her. She's not my style. Oh, my cousin is single. Here, let me show you her picture. She looks a lot like you. She's kind. She likes ice cream and traveling. You should meet her. Well, she is beautiful, but do you think she will like me? Of course. Here, let me give you her number. Thanks. You're a great friend. No problem. All right, so the party starts in 30 minutes. Awesome. I'm so hungry. Did you eat? Oh, I already ate, but I can make you a sandwich if you want. Thanks a lot, bro. I'll buy you dinner tomorrow. Okay, great. Sounds good. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, do you want something to drink? I have water or fruit juice. Sure, water's fine. So, what did you do last weekend? I was in the hospital. I accidentally ate some peanut butter. I'm really allergic to peanut butter, remember? Well, I only put a little bit of peanut butter in the sandwich, but I should still tell him. Hey, uh, actually... Oh man, thanks for that sandwich. It was fantastic. What were you saying? Nothing. Um, I'm glad you liked it. Have some water. What? 
What's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm fine. I just hurt my neck at the gym yesterday. Ah. <laughs> what time do we have to leave for the party? We should leave soon, right? Let's just chill here for a little bit longer. Okay. Oh my god, are you okay? Uh, I can't breathe. Oh my god, I put peanut butter in the sandwich. I'm sorry, I should have known. Should we go to the hospital? Trust my medicine. Where's your medicine? It's in my bag. Where's your bag? Next to the bathroom. Ah! I got it, I got it. How many should I give you? Read the label. Oh my god. Here. Okay. Oh no, he's dead. I'm so stupid. Why did I give him peanut butter? <laughs> You're not dead. He's not dead. Oh. If you follow my 12 step program. Hello everyone. Do you want to know your future? Well, I can help you. I can tell you what job you're going to have if you'll have kids, and if you're going to go bald. Where is it? Now you're thinking, where's my office? But the best part is, I can read your fortune over the phone. That's right, you can relax comfortably in your own home while I tell you your future over the phone. Call now for a limited time discount. Call now, David. How does he know my name? He must be a real fortune teller. I should call him now. Hello, David. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you, David. What job you'll have, how many kids you'll have, and when you'll go bald. If you're ready to hear more, please tell me your credit card number. Okay, okay, it's... 42224. Okay, I'm ready. When will I get married? You're going to get married in three years to a girl named Sarah. Sarah, how many kids will we have? You will have three kids, two girls and a boy. And here's the best news of all. What is it? Tell me. You will not be bald in three years. Yes. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much for telling me my future. And you'll get a promotion at your current job. Huh? I don't have a job right now. <laughs> Of course you don't have a job. I knew that. It's the job you're going to get next week. But I'm supposed to go on vacation next week. Really? Well, we're hiring here, actually. Wait a minute. Can you really tell me my future? What kind of question is that? Of course I can, David. I know your name, don't I? True. Okay. Let me ask you some questions then. Is that okay? Um, sure, but I might not be able to answer them because... What will I eat for dinner today? Uh, pizza. I'm allergic to pizza. Steak. I'm a vegan. Salad? Hmm, okay, I see. And where will I go on vacation next week? Paris, France. No. Hawaii? I live in Hawaii. Um... I'm going to New York. Oh, that means everything you told me was a lie. I'm not going to get married in three years to a girl named Sarah. And worst of all, I might go bald. So I have one question for you. How do you know my name? Sorry, no refunds. Have a nice day. So, Michael. Yes? Do we have an agreement? Yes, sir. Repeat it to me, please. You've given me $20,000 to start my business. After three months, I have to pay you $5,000 every month for one year. And if you don't pay me back? 
Um, you're going to burn my house down, blow up my car, find me, lock me in a box, and throw me in the ocean. Perfect. That's correct. Now, please tell me a little bit more about your business. Sure, it's end of the world insurance. If the world ends, we pay you and your family a large sum of money. Until that time, however, you have to pay us monthly insurance payments. <laughs> Good luck with that. Here's your money. Thank you. Oh, and Michael. Yes? Don't disappoint me. I won't, sir. Hey, John. Yo, what's up, man? How is your business going? Business is terrible. I opened during peak inflation and people just aren't spending any money on end of the world insurance. I'm not making enough money and now the mafia is here to get back the money they loaned me. What? You borrowed money from the mafia? Do you have the money? No. And what percent interest are they asking for? Well, I borrowed $20,000 and they want me to pay back $60,000 over the course of a year. Oh man, what have you done, Michael? Okay, are they at your house? Open up. Yes, they're knocking at the front door right now. <sighs> I'm coming to your house now. I'm going to stand out front and make noise while you come out the back, okay? I can't jump out of my house. There are bars on the windows. Ah, oh, why did my landlord have to put these on? Okay, just wait. I'll try something. Hello, sir. Have you found Jesus yet? Go away. I'm busy. We would love you to join us. I said I'm busy. Okay, I understand. Bye. Call him. Tell him that I left and that you're the only one here. But do it. Hey, Michael. What happened to the mafia guy? Uh, he left and I'm the only one here. Open the door. Really? Great. Hello, Michael. No, man, you're wrong. Here's my first reason as to why it's not worth sending your kid to university or going to university. Okay. First, you can learn almost anything on YouTube or online or from someone or at an academy. It's so expensive going to university, you can just teach yourself. Think about being a YouTuber, a video editor, a programmer. Why go to university when you have all of this stuff, all of these resources, practically free at your fingertips. Well, first I just want to say that it can be very expensive depending on what you want to do with your life. It's a, it's a big decision. But a lot of people don't have the luxury of being able to learn in every environment given to them. Most people, such as myself, really need a full immersive environment where they can surround themselves with like-minded individuals and physical contact with the things they're learning. Okay, that's a fair point, it's a fair point. Everybody learns differently. Some people learn well in the classroom environment. Here's my second point, all right? The student loans that you have to take in order to attend university, especially in the United States, are insane. The amount of debt that these young kids are going into, four years of college, after that you have to start paying back like 50, 60, $70,000 worth of debt. How can you put that much debt onto a kid who has just graduated and is entering the workforce? It's so depressing, it's so much pressure. This is clearly a broken system. Well, I do have to agree, it's a little broken and it's very expensive, but I feel that people over time have adapted to ways around that, such as going to community college first, a very affordable rate to get the gen ed out of the way, the generic education credits. And second, scholarships are available for almost everybody, depending where you live and how much time you put into volunteering or if you have great ideas just waiting to come out. You can get money for those things. That's a really good point. Community college is great. But a kid going to college, and I'm going to call them a kid because an 18 year old is a kid, Still not an kid. adult in my mind. At that age, how on earth are you supposed to choose a major that you're gonna do for the rest of your life? If you're that age, you know what you should be doing is trying a bunch of different things, like going to a buffet 
and tasting a bunch of different things. I like that. I don't like that. I kind of like that. That's what an 18 year old should be doing. Instead of being forced to choose one major to study, how do they know what they want to be doing in 10 years? Everybody goes through that. And some people take longer than others to find out what they want to do. Exactly. But whether it's in a university landscape or online, they're still going to come across those same struggles. In the university, you can stay on the same campus usually. I switched twice. And it was very convenient. I didn't have to leave, didn't have to change dormitories, didn't cost me anything except for maybe a couple extra classes to make up. Yeah. My last point is that when you're young, when you're 18, 19, 20, I think one of the best things you can be doing is traveling, trying new jobs, meeting people, going to different places. But I feel like a university environment is a very synthetic, unnatural environment that isn't really training young kids to do very much at all. It's nothing like the real world. It's very insulated. And I don't really think it's a, a great use of their time. I will admit that it's very stimulating and good for their social development. I can admit that. But there's many other ways you can do that besides going to university. Well, uh, I do agree wholeheartedly that traveling is amazing and I feel like everybody has to do it. It changes the way you perceive the world, but um, that can be expensive in itself as well. However, I also know there are universities that offer exchange programs and even uh, certain uh, degrees if they want you to have a bonus credit off, off abroad. You, you go to Puerto Rico or Italy, do film and documentaries, Italy for culinary school, uh, going to Sweden to learn about their education system. There's opportunities. I almost killed that mosquito. I got him. I got nice. him. Nice. Yeah. All right. You made a lot of great points. I guess we should just agree to disagree. I guess so. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Hello. Hello, Agent 4. We need you to infiltrate the layer of Damascus, the kingpin of the underground crime syndicate. Everyone wears a disguise in the gang and you'll need to acquire one as well. You have to blend in, act like one of his minions. Don't say or ask anything suspicious. Your goal is to go in, take pictures of the lair and make it out safely. Don't worry about Damascus today. Try to do it quietly this time, please. This is a high risk, high reward mission, and you will be rewarded handsomely. Are you ready to take this on? Let's do this. What's the password? Pizza delivery. I didn't order any pizza. Oh, is that right? <laughs> I must've come to the wrong house. One sec. Ugh, I came to the wrong neighborhood. Sorry for troubling you. Please accept this pizza free of charge. We have to make a fresh one for the guy who ordered this anyway. Well, uh, what kind of pizza is it? Um, pepperoni. Just pepperoni? Pepperoni and sausage. It's a meat lover's pizza. Oh, I love meat lover's pizza. How many calories does it have? I'm watching my weight these days. Look, sir, do you want the free pizza or not? Yeah, sure, I'll take the pizza. Here you go. Who was that? Oh, it was just a pizza delivery guy. He came to the wrong house. Oh, really? You sound different than before. Do you want some pizza? <laughs> As you know, I'm watching my weight these days. Yeah, right. Speaking of which, you're looking really thin these days and taller. Your diet must really be working. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's going well these days. So uh, are the other guys here? What about Damascus? What are you talking about? It's only me and you today. Remember? Oh, I, I mean, I thought that they were coming later after work. I figured we could all go to the bar together afterwards and get a drink together, you know? Drink? I've never seen you drink. You're practically allergic to alcohol. Oh, yeah. I mean, alcohol is part of the new diet. It helps stimulate the metabolism. Oh, really? Sounds good to me. Anyway, it's your turn. Turn? Are you feeling okay? We were playing cards before you answered the door. Oh, duh. <laughs> it's my turn. I'm gonna beat you. I just taught you the game. It's literally your first game.
What are you doing? I'm just having a great time here with my bro, eating some pizza, playing some games. I want to remember this moment. Hey, what, you mind moving this way just a bit for a different angle? One sec. Something's off about you today. First the drinking, now the pictures. You know the boss doesn't allow us to take pictures. If he finds out about this, he's gonna kill both of us. Give me your phone. Give me the phone. Oh hey, Damascus, you're coming right now? You're gonna give us a promotion? Thank you so much. You wanna take some selfies when you get here? Great, sounds good. <laughs> See you later. They're coming here now? Yeah, in fact, they said they're out front right now. Let me go get them, just wait here. Nah, 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 let's go together. Really? You don't have to come with me, just wait. I insist. Um, okay. What's this? Oh, these uh, homeless people are just falling asleep everywhere these days, am I right? <laughs> Wait, this guy's a member, which means you're an imposter? Oh, hey, Damascus! I told you not to come with me. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Did you enjoy this video? If so, please let me know in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Sean, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.